Hello there, it's Lily here again, and we're back on my bed with some more toys because I told you I am absolutely a giant child. So, let me get Godzilla over here so we can just, you know, play with all our toys together in one place. Alright, now in this box is going to be a few extra things, but there's two main things that I really want to show off today. And the box has a little bit of damage, but hopefully everything inside of it's okay. Okay. So we have a little GoPro camera to help with the filming. That's not the main attraction for today. We have some B WPL B14 parts, which is going to up be an upcoming video, but again, not the main attraction for today. Don't even remember what this was. Let's open this up before we get to what is the main attraction, because I want to be teasy. <laughs> okay, what was this? I don't even remember. Let's see. What did we get? Oh, more, uh, more B14 WPL parts. <laughs> I got a lot more of them coming. I'm going to have a big video in the future where I'm going to, I already have an upgraded B14, but it's really just the motor and the ESC and servo. I'm going to fully upgrade the suspension and everything, so that's upcoming more toys, yay. But let's get to this today. First, let's just yeet this over there and get it out of our way. Take our ugly sticker off our bag. And see what we have inside. Okay. And we have a tape measure because I had a feeling. So Godzilla has the tape measure to measure it. I had a feeling these were advertised to be a certain height and I just knew at the price point that they couldn't possibly be that tall. And sure enough. Okay, so we have a Godzilla. One of the newer style ones. Arms and legs are everything are supposed to move, but they're a little tight. Okay, it's supposed to be 12 inches tall like this guy, and I knew it wasn't going to be. And a Mecha Godzilla. Which is one of my personal favorites. This is super cute. I am in love with Mecha Godzilla. So, we brought the tape measure with us because these are supposed to measure 12 inches tall. Let's see, Godzilla. Real Godzilla. Old school. My favorite. Best Godzilla. I got this toy when I was a baby, 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 and I love it. And they were supposed to be the same size, and I knew they couldn't measure up. So, we got... I'm not sure if that's going to be that visible in the camera. We have the proper Godzilla just around 12 inches tall. Now on Amazon these are advertised as being 12 inches tall, 17 inches from head to tail. Let's see what we got. What is that about? What does that look like? Under, under 7 inches? Under 7 inches long or tall. Let's see the length on it. What do we got? We got about 14 inches head to tail. <clears throat> now I knew at this price point it was fairly cheap that they were not going to be two of them this size. However, I figured I'd give it a try because I wanted to see if I could get lucky. They're more akin to the size of some of my other little ones. Like this guy actually came in all these little pieces that was kind of this model kit I got to put together and I really loved this. There's a Ghidorah and a Mechagodzilla I want to get of this kind. Now, I have a hard time finding these old school ones that I love, and I, if anybody knows where I can get a good resource to find these old ones, the Godzillas, Mechagodzilla, Ghidorah, even any of the knockoff ones, I love these things. Please let me know. If, if anyone knows, please in the comments, good 12-inch Godzilla old school kaiju toys. Now these guys, I knew they were going to be small, but that's actually not as big of a disappointment as it sounds. There are a Mecha Gitara and another Gitara toy that are in this 6 to 7 inch range that I was a little hesitant to get because if these were 12 inches to match this Godzilla, then I would like to stick with that 
range. However, since these are short, I know I say however too much, I'm working on it. <laughs> because these guys are shorter than we thought, the Gitteros they have that are 7 inches will fit perfect with these. So that's probably what I'm going to get next. I am um, definitely going to have some fun with my little monster mash here, but they're all going to get dominated by the true king of the monsters, the OG Godzilla. I'm Lily Godzilla. Thank you for watching this video. I know it wasn't really quite an unboxing, but it's a little bit of an unboxing. And I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Like and subscribe. Thank you very much. <laughs> Swat. Oh my god, that. OG Godzilla's in the house. Hey, what are you doing? Get out of here. I'm playing with my toys. Oh, I mean, I was just looking at my things. Go, go, go. Leave me alone. Okay, sorry about that. I, um, I was just trying to show these off for the camera a little better. I don't know exactly what that was. I was not playing with toys. I'm an adult. Duh. I just, I just have collectibles and I just wanted to get a, a better, a better view of them for, for everyone to see. See? See? And then here's, here's the other one. Look how cool that is. Yeah. It's got the cool face and all the spikes on the tail. And it looks like it's in mid-glow because it's going to start shooting atomic fire breath. And oh boy, yeah, it's too fun. I can't control myself. <laughs> oh. I'm Lily God Silly. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Like and subscribe or you get the atomic breath. Bye.